What you got? Who has the $25,000? Ravoy's telephone service has been very good to me. Scarlett had been nagging me about signing up for it, and I just went in, okay, let me just sign up. I came home, guess what, we signed up, and that was that. It was, I think, the affordability, and with that in mind, I urged her was to get it. Prior to winning the Cable Bahamas giveaway, we encountered the two hurricanes. The first one, Irene, we weren't able really to do anything. And then when Sandy came along, she finished demolishing what was left. So we had the roof damage, the walls, obviously the water. And it was a strain financially. So winning this giveaway was a huge blessing. I couldn't believe it. My sister had called and said that somebody from Cable Bahamas is looking for you and I'm going for what? I just gave them my last hundred dollars. It didn't hit home until we were told we need to be in Nassau the 24th of January. We went there and it, it sunk in then. I had a very delayed reaction. Daryl Miller says, I think you got it. I looked in the audience for my husband and he said, you won. And I went, yes, thank you, Jesus. But it was great. It was, there was the tears. It was a beautiful moment. I had never won anything, so I think that was just destiny. The first thing I wanted to do was fix my roof. So we were able to do that. Thank you. I have been able to put aside my salary. So that is to look back and to go in and know you have some cushion when you didn't have it before. One of the indulgences was taking a vacation and taking my son after not being able to leave the Bahamas for more than 10 years and just relax a little bit, you know. I could take my husband out to dinner and I've also been able to give back to some other people. I've been a secret Santa all during the year. In the next year, I'm looking forward to really giving back. There are some children in my neighborhood that I see walking all the time and I know that the mother is a single mother and it reminds me of where I was and the struggles that I went through and the little boy is the same age as my son so that family they don't know what I have planned to do for them but I am going to do some stuff for them because somebody has given back to me and blessed me in a way that It's just the right thing to do, to give back to someone else. I'm sitting actually with my mortgage company. I speak to the lady every month and she said, Darlene, you, you know, you are way down. Because the mortgage has come down so much, I'll be able to take the house up a floor. I've been baking for quite some time from home and because of winning the mortgage giveaway from Cable Bahamas, I was able to set aside my salary from the Ministry of Education to open Sweet Affairs Bakery here in Freeport. It's been a long time dream of mine. I thought I would really have to put my passion for the baking far behind me because a mortgage is a huge, huge chunk of your life. You know, they are the saying that um, every good man or successful man has a good woman behind. So definitely for her to be successful, she's gonna have to have a good man behind her. So I think I'll play that role. And we'll always give um, thanks and credit to Rev Voice and Cable Bahamas. As far as um, being a good corporate citizen, I think they have lived up to it. I used to tell my children, what's my favorite word? Mommy's favorite word is no. It's been so good to say yes. There's no way that I would have been able to do and accomplish what I've accomplished without that blessing. Thank you, Cable Bahamas. It's been a wonderful year.